Welcome back everybody! Today I'm going to show you three things you can make from Ankara or African wax print fabric. Two tops and a dress. We're going to go from the easier ones to the more difficult projects. The first thing you can make is this circle top. The way you can make this top is quite easy. First you measure the length you want your top to be. From your chin to wherever you wanted it to end. Then you fold your fabric in four and use that radius to cut out a circle. Don't forget to cut out a 5 inch radius circle for the neck opening. You fold out your fabric, then you cut out two armholes like so, using your French curve. Or just your eyes. Then you will also need some bias tapes to finish the top of your garment and for straps. I used a contrasting wax print to cut these strips out from. To make the bias tape I used this 25mm bias tape making thingy. You can easily make this by hand too, but it's a little quicker and a lot more fun to use this. Once I had my bias tapes ready, I pinned them on to then two necklines of the top, right sides facing together. Then I sewed them on with machine. Then I folded the bias tape back towards the inside of the top and I felt it down by hand. To make the straps of the top, first you need to measure how long you want them to be, then add around an inch of allowance to that. Mark out that length on your bias strip and from that mark start pinning it down right size facing together on the armhole of your garment. Then sew it to the armhole right size facing together. Now fold the strap in half right size facing together, pin it together and sew it into a tube. Then turn it inside out with the help of a thread and needle. Now finish up the binding by turning it back just like before and folding it down by hand. To finish the straps, fold back both ends of the bias tape, then attach it to the inside of the top, with the row edges facing together. Thank you. 
As a last step, don't forget to hem your shirt. And then you're done. Our second project is another top I made using an existing item from my wardrobe. First, I used my existing shirt to make a pattern by laying it flat on a big piece of paper and carefully transferring its outlines. I did half a pattern for the front part and half a pattern for the back part. Then I transferred my pattern onto the Ankara fabric and cut out both the front and the back parts. Then I pinned and sewed all the pieces together, leaving the bottom 3 inches of both side seams open. To make the facing I used my pattern again, transferring the outlines and then marking around one and a half inch away from the edges and cutting those strips out. To be able to sew the neckline facing on, first I had to finish the shoulder seams. So I folded the seam allowance back twice and felt it down by hand. Starting from the middle, I pinned the neckline facing both to the front and the back panels and sewed them on, not forgetting to close up the shoulder seams. I understitched it, then clipping the seam allowance, I folded it in. Then I had to clip the outer edges again to be able to fold it back and fill it down by hand. The same process was repeated to finish the armholes, although here I used the sewing machine to sew down the outer edge. To hem the bottom of the top, I marked a line, then I folded it back twice using that line as a guide. I sewed this down with a sewing machine. I finished the interior seam allowances with a serger. Then at the side openings I folded them back and felt them down by hand. that, we're done with this one too. We arrived to the last, and arguably the most complicated project. I used the Buddha pattern 6343. Once I had the pattern pieces cut out, I transferred them onto my beautiful fabric I got from Kenya. 
It's one of my most treasured ones, I love the colors of it. First, I cut the body pieces out and sew them together on all seams except for the shoulder seams. I decided against lining the bodice and instead I opted for facing because wax print fabrics are already quite thick and doubling them up would not be suitable for this hot summer weather we're having. Same pattern pieces, then I marked away from the edge about 1 or 2 inches and cut out those pieces too. I sewed the facing pieces together the same way I did the bodice ones, leaving the shoulder seams open. I laid both of them on top of each other, right sides facing together, and sewed around the neckline. Then I also understitched it. Then I folded the facing in and pressed the seams. Now I could sew the shoulder seams closed. And hem the facing piece by folding it back twice. The next step was to cut out the giant skirt panels and pleat them according to the pattern. I'm not gonna lie, this step was a bit confusing. <laughs> Once I managed to pleat them right, I ironed them down a little. And of course, no dress is a dress without a pocket. So I cut the pocket pieces out and attached them to the skirt while also closing the side seams. Then I attached the skirt to the bodice. To hem the skirt, all I had to do was to fold back the salvage of the fabric. For me, wax print fabric is a little tricky thing to use. I have a lot of them and I love them because they are so beautiful and colorful. But they are stiffer than normal cottons and it's always tricky to come up with things to make from it. So I hope you like these ideas and I hope you maybe even got inspired to make some of them. If that's so, I would love to see your projects. And until then, stay safe and see you in my next video.